Hey, what's happening everybody? This your man, Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad, right here, Premier Leather Crafters, in the cold, dirty, dirty. You guys see, I'm out here in the shop grinding. I got my winter gear on, got my hoodie, got my scully, and I'm layered up because it is cold. It has been dropping down into the 30s and the 20s. Uh, during the day, Sometimes it might get up to around 45-ish, the mid-40s, low 50s. But hey, soon as the sun go down, you know, the it is screeching cold. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been out here in the shop. And I got to get a new wick for my kerosene heater. So shout out to those who have this, those shops uh, where you have heat and air because even in the summertime, man, it's hot as all get out. But, you know, we're trying to remedy that and fix that. Uh, but I do have to get another wick for my kerosene heater so we can get right back out here on the grind. So shout out to those who, who have heat and air in their shops. As, but also a shout out to those who are just like me, really putting in that grit and that grind work to add to your success story when you finally get over the hump. Now, but today I want to talk to you guys about something that is moving in the leather world as well as it's a hot ticket item in the fashion world too today. And uh, this video again is small fun projects that can create you a lot of money or make you a lot of money. That is what this video is stemming off of. So for you women out there, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And for the men out there, if you're trying to find something that you can utilize, those scrap pieces of leather, you know, hey, get with your wives, your sisters, your aunties, your girlfriends, or whatever. Get with them and get the opinions because, and that's what it, uh, is happening in my side, it's hard for a man to create something feminine for a woman because we're so masculine, unless you the man who started Victoria's Secret, but you know, that's still a question mark for me. But anyway, um, get the opinions of some females that's in your cipher or in your surroundings, your circumference, and they can help you out with this. And what this trend is, is the big earrings. These are very popular right now in the fashion world. I know you guys are seeing a lot of people, especially the celebrities, they have these big saucer earrings or these big hula hoop earrings. Now, back when I was younger, that was a big trend back during the 80s, the big hair days. And so, but what's happening is it's recycling back around. Now, what makes that great for us as leather crafters is they didn't have the leather earrings back in the 80s. So now, and that's what I'm telling you guys. And we can create and design. We have the ability to create and design anything on these earrings. We have enough space to even do tooling and stamping and all of that great stuff. And that's what I want to share with you guys today because I, myself, have several, uh, well, not several. I don't want to make it sound like I'm out there, playboy, you know what I'm saying? But I do have some female friends that are into the big earrings. And they let me trace the shape. So I didn't have to go out and buy a cheap pair of earrings to just get the design off of. You guys have those same females in your family or in your site for your surroundings that are into this trend and they will let you trace out the design. Now what I did, I picked four, one, four different patterns that I like. Traced them out on some poster board. Here's one for you guys. And these are something because a lot of women don't really, may not want the big, the, these big, huge ones. And you can see the difference in the two. But I have some for every female that's out there. From the small ones all the way up to the large ones. And then I have these two different uh, shapes here. Uh, one is kind of like a little diamond. That's, uh, I think I measured these at an inch and a quarter. Uh, there we go. Let me get back on the camera. Inch and a quarter. That's one. Then I have this oval one. 
These are very, very cool. And you can trace these out just on your regular, hey, if you got the cereal box in the house or the macaroni and cheese box in the house or the grits box in the house, whatever, you don't even have to go out and buy a poster board. Now, poster board at Dollar Tree, you get two white poster sheets for a dollar. So if you want to spend that, cool. If you don't, you guys already know my motto, utilize what you have at home and to create your patterns. Nobody knows it but you. And then we have this little tear shaped one, and I really like these. But the two that I chose, and I want you guys to see, and I went to the drawing board, went to my handy sketch, and I drew up some nice little simple patterns to put on, to change them out. Hey, you guys invest in you a drawing book. You can keep these forever. And then we'll probably do one video somewhere down the road where you can go back and take these prints and then you can turn around and sell them. I'll tell you guys how you can sell your drawings and your prints uh, on Amazon, how you can get people to go to your website and purchase the print. They they uh, And they already come with the patterns and all of that. And it just gives the customers a little bit some more insight on how to do it if they want to do that. But I really believe you guys are smart enough and capable enough to come up with your own designs. But you can come down and download the shapes if you uh, uh, don't know any females or aren't around any females to where they'll let you trace theirs. And if you really just talk to them, the, they'll, every woman that has these earrings, they're her favorite. And just like one woman, it's 10, at least 10. I think it's more than that, but I'm going to say at least 10 other ones that like the exact same thing. That's why when you go to these retail stores, these boutiques, these shops, they have uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten pair of the same exact earring because they are banking on there are more women out there that like the same thing. Okay, but needless to say, let's get straight to this because... Um, I have already, now I kind of jumped the gun because I was a little bit excited and I really wanted to see how this was going to turn out. Now, what I recommend, because the biggest thing, if you're talking with women, the biggest thing is how heavy are they? That is the biggest concern because women don't want to have uh, those, uh, let me turn this back up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, have you ever noticed seen any women that have that long rip or tear in their earlobe? That's from one of two things. Either A, the earring got caught and hung up on something and it kind of ripped the earlobe a little bit, the ear hole, the piercing hole a little bit, or the weight of the earring was too heavy and it stretched the earlobe. Which brings me to this uh, vital point key of information. I used four five ounce, four or five ounce. You can use either either use four ounce bed tan leather or five ounce bed tan leather. Now the reason why I chose this one, the weight of them is phenomenal. Uh, four to five is not really heavy, but is yet durable enough for you to carve and stamp and tool and put whatever type of design and shape in here. And I want to show you guys what I'm talking about because now the two that uh, I really like, and we're going to use these for the sake of the video, and which I really like them anyway. I like these shapes and sizes. So we're going to use the diamond one and there's this tear, just water drop shape. And I think that's probably what I wind up calling it is water drop. But now I have already started and you guys have already seen the drawing. So I just went ahead and carved this. And this is the great part about veg tan. You can carve, you can tool, you can stamp and all of this in there. And I went ahead and painted this and I'm going to give you guys drop this jewel real quick because the, um, the model that endorses my sandals, she told me that rose gold is the color now. Now, I don't know how far that's going to carry over into the new year, but rose gold is the color. So you guys can already see, I just started painting the background on that with that rose gold. 
and we're going to let this set and then I'm going to come back with some tan coat and resist this and then I'm going to come back with a nice uh, probably throw a little couple of other colors in there maybe some baby blue or something for women to where they can wear this with multiple outfits and then I chose the diamond shape. Now this one has already, uh, I'm just gonna resist this. That's why you see the leather lace in here because I'm letting this dry. This is the second coat, but there it is right there. Not gonna do anything else to that except antique it. That's why you see that little shiny that's up there. I'm just gonna antique this. And then, now, uh, where'd you get your hooks at, cowboy? Two places that I recommend, uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or um, Joann's Fabric. If you have any of these places in your area or where you can or where you can get to them real quick, they have the hooks. They also carry the hooks with the backs. Now, uh, the little plastic backs, the retainer backs. Now, I will tell you this. They are a lot more expensive really expensive. I'm talking about one pair may cost you two dollars or unless you buy the little kit uh, that they sell at uh, Hobby Lobby. We don't have a Michaels here in Gaston, but we have a Hobby Lobby and it's like 21 bucks for a kit and you only get uh, about 30 different pairs or uh, actually 15 pairs, 30 pieces. But the other place and you guys have seen, if you've been following me, you know my, uh, seen my other videos, Wish App. Wish App, you can get 200 pieces, which is 100 pairs for $1.76. Now, as of today, uh, the recording of this video, which is January, uh, this is December 19, 18, 19, somewhere around up in there. Uh, I put an order in yesterday on the 18th and uh, it's projected to be here on the 4th of January. So I knew that I was going to be making these. So I, I utilizing my time, went ahead and I'm going to make up a bunch of these. So when my hooks come in, then all I have to do is just attach the hooks and they out the gate. So uh, but if you have, if you really just want to test and see what's going on, then uh, yeah, go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's uh, Fabric. They'll have those hooks, uh, and you can just play around with them. Now, um, I would also tell you to, to check out Pinterest. Pinterest will give you a lot of ideas, especially. Well, don't do Pinterest because Pinterest is going to connect you to Etsy. So uh, you can log on to Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com, and just type in leather, custom-made leather earrings, uh, and it will give you some ideas. Now, the ideas of the craftsmanship, which I don't, I'm not telling you guys to copy any other craftsman, but it'll give you an idea of what's being pushed out there into the, the fashion world. Now, nobody has a copyright on the shape, but I'm not telling you to copy anybody's tooling work or their craftsmanship or artwork like that unless you buy it or they're trying to sell it and then, hey, do you. Uh, and then also, it gives you an uh, opportunity to see how much they are charging for these. Now, um, I saw two sites on Etsy. One lady was charging $55 for a pair of custom leather earrings. Now, she did have... Uh, some, she did incorporate some of her earrings with some stones. So if you guys know how to do stone inlays, uh, I think I did a video on stone inlaying. Uh, you can go back, check that out. But uh, she was inlaying uh, the stones in there. She was inlaying. Uh, you can attach uh, uh, Tandy. I know sells a lot of the uh, rhinestones and jewels and cubic zirconias and other things like that if you want to implement that into your craftsmanship. And then there was another lady. She was charging upwards, upwards. Just looking at the first few uh, pics, pictures that she had on Etsy, she was charging $115. Now, she was, uh, that's the one that I was going to tell you about earlier. Uh, she incorporated uh, metal work 
metalwork. She had sterling silver going around those and around the leather. Now, that's when you really getting jazzy, but $115 upward to $225 for a pair of earrings. You know, hey, like I said, small projects that can create a lot of money. So if you guys know somebody who's into doing metal work or jewelry, custom made jewelry, give them a call. You guys can do some collaboration right there. Don't just get so stuck on making all of the stuff for yourself. It's enough money out here for all of us to eat. So bring in some uh, some other um, handcrafted uh, 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 business owners and incorporate. See how that incorporates and how you can and tie that, intertwine that into leather. It is a great thing because now uh, you just opened up the market for somebody else who never probably even thought about adding leather to their uh, metal work. But that is a thing. So if you know somebody out there who's already doing custom made jewelry, you know, hey, supply them with the pieces. Now, uh, before we get ready to get out of here because it's at the 16 minute mark and I got to get back to painting, um, hey, you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for supporting the Cowboy and Premier Leather Crafters and what we have going on here. And uh, if you guys don't know, I love to talk. I love to share information because it was given to me. I was blessed and fortunate enough to uh, for a, a long time, long term crafters who have been in this business 30, 40, 50 years, you know, and they're sharing the uh, golden nuggets of information, little, little secrets that you won't find out there um, in, in, in the, the leather world because people try to keep it so tight and choke it, you know, to death. They want to have the only one that can do this particular type of style, you know, but hey, I like sharing the information because again, it's enough bread out here for all of us to eat and for all of us to eat well. So again, thank you guys. Hats off. Stay tuned. More videos is coming. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting the wick to my kerosene heater. So more videos is coming. Uh, thank you guys uh, again. And hey, like always, keep practicing, keep tooling. Don't be afraid to take chances and get out there and do your thing. So for every idea that you come up with, it's somebody out there that wants to buy that particular piece that you're doing. Hey, thank you guys for chilling with me these 17 and a half minutes. I am Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty. See you guys on the other side.